Hi, George here, and I'm in Bedrock. Right now we're in 1.20.10, and we're going to be placing a custom song onto a record disc. It's actually very easy to do, not a big problem, but there are a few steps you have to go through here to get this done properly. And the first one, of course, is we need to have a record here inside of the game. So let's pop over to a dungeon and find a record. That's the easiest place to get records inside of Minecraft. There are other ways, and you only have two options here in dungeons, but that's all we need for this discussion. So let's go ahead and see what we can find in a dungeon. And here we go, a nice dungeon. And this one is a skeleton dungeon. You can kind of see a skeleton in there. Okay, let's check out these two treasure chests. First one here, nothing in here. There's some nice stuff, of course, but not what we're looking for. Let's check out the next one. Here we go. And we have, we have a music disc. This is disc 13, and that's perfect for us. So I'll just bring that right down there. Okay, so I have our disc. I need to come back later and grab some more of this stuff. That gold's really nice. I like that gunpowder as well, but we'll come back for that later. Let's now get back to the home base and see what else we need to do here to put our own song onto this record. Okay, there's our record 13. I'll just put those other two into our chest and then we're going to jump out to the desktop and begin working on a resource pack to change the song on this record. And just go right over here and I'll put these in here. There's a cat and there we go. I'll just do that. And now let's go over to the desktop and begin setting up our resource pack. All right, we're here on my desktop. And the first thing you'll need is to have a place to build your resource pack in. I just made a folder here on my C drive and I called it Bedrock Packs. Nothing special about it, just a new folder right here. And they're also going to be needing your new music and I have one right there, it's an MP3 file. It's called No Doubt, we'll be using that. Now this kind of cone shape icon, that's just because I'm using the VLC media player as my media player here. If you have a different media player, you get a different icon for that. We're also going to be needing a pack icon file. I have a custom one here, and the name is pack underscore icon dot png. You can use anything you want. This is just a square image, and it's at 128 by 128 pixels. If you want, you can use the default one. I'll show you where I can find that. And we're going to be needing three folders in here. These are just empty folders, one named sounds, one named texts, and one named textures. We'll be putting some more stuff inside of these in just a bit. That's our basic stuff that we need. Okay, now we also need to download a vanilla resource pack from online. Let me bring that up and I'll show you the address for that. In this right here, I'll put this address in the description so you can just click on that to get right to this page. And then we're going to scroll down, ignore everything that says preview. We don't want any of those. That's for upcoming stuff, but not for this. You want to come down to the one that says latest right there. That's what we want. All of these are pre-release things. Just go for the latest one. Right now it's 120.10.1 and let's download the zip file for this where it says source code zip click on that and we'll save that into the same folder that we already set up just choose save and that's all taken care of i'll just get this out of the way and there's that vanilla resource pack now i want to open this up in a new window so right click and i'm in windows 11 right now find open in new window there we are as you can see that okay let's go inside of that folder you want to come down here where it says resource pack, go inside of resource pack, and we'll get a few things out of here. First off, here's that default pack icon. That's that grass block one. That's right there if you want to use that if you don't want to make your own. So there that is. Now in here we want to get a couple of things. Let's go into texts, and then you'll find the texts here for all the different languages. And I'm in the US and almost all my subscribers are US, so we'll use that one. And that's right here. EN for English and then US. Let's just right drag that over here and copy. We'll copy that out. There we go. Let's now back out of that folder and go into textures and then into items right here. And we want to find the disc for number 13, for song 13. So let's just scroll down right down here in the record section and it's record underscore 13. So let's just right drag that over here and copy. And there's the image for the record. Okay, one more thing that we need. Let's go back up here to resource pack. And come down, you want to get this manifest.json file. Take that, right drag it over here, and copy. Okay, that's everything that we need from that zip folder. That's all taken care of. Now the text file here, the lang file, this just goes into text. Just drag it over there. That's all taken care of. The record goes into textures. But we need the right spot for this. Just open up textures. We need to make a new folder in here. New folder, and this one is items. 
like that. Okay, let's go back here to Resource Packs. Let's take this record, drag it into Textures inside of here, drag it into Items, and that's now in the right location. We're going to change what this looks like just so we can see that our custom disk is working. But let's back out here. Now we need to make some new folders here over in Sounds, and that's where we're going to be putting our new custom sound. Let's go inside of the Sounds folder, and let's make a new folder here. This is Music. Inside of Music, New Folder, and Game. There you go. Inside of game, new folder, and records. And our new record goes right inside of there. Okay, it's back out again. So our folders are all set. We have our text in the right place and our textures. Let's now take care of this manifest JSON. Now I'll be opening this up in Notepad++. It's a free download, and it's my favorite editor for doing this kind of basic coding stuff. You can get Notepad++ right here. I'll put this link in the description. And just grab the top one. That's the most current version right there. Again, great editor for doing basic coding. Much better than using just the notepad that comes with Windows. Okay, back over to the working folder. Let's open this up. Here we go. Now in here, a couple things to take a look at. One, here's your minimum version number. 1.2010. You can see that that's the version we're playing in right now. That's fine. Now we have these two things up here a UUID code here, and also a UUID code right down there. We need to change those two. And we should also change our description up here and down here. I'm just going to change this and to say custom, custom record 13. Those can say the same thing. That's fine. Let's just take this, right click, and we'll copy that. And I'll paste that right down here. That way we can recognize this when we're looking at our list of resource packs. So there's a custom record 13. Now to change these codes here, let's go over to another website and we'll download some new codes. And this right here is the online UUID generator. And I'll put this link in the description so you can go ahead over there and get that. Now it should be saying version four right up there. See that? This is a new code. Let's just copy this back to our manifest file. It's right here. And I'll put that right on top of this. I'll just select this, right click and paste. That's our first one. Let's now go back to our website. Click on Refresh. Gives you a new code. Copy. Back to the manifest. And we'll select that one out. Right click and paste. Now make sure you didn't lose the quotation marks at the beginning and the end of either of those. So make sure that those are there. Make sure your commas are there. Same thing for the description. Make sure those quotation marks and comma are there. And there's one last thing to change in here. And that's right here. And that's the name. And this, just select this. You can in the pack anything you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to copy this out again, our custom record and copy. And I'll put that right here where that name is. Right click and paste. There we go. And that then finishes off the manifest.json file. You can save this. And then close this down and go back to the working folder. Okay, we're now back over here. The next thing to do is to adjust the name of the song. And ours is no doubt. I'm just going to click in here right click and copy that name and let's go into the texts folder and again i'll open this up with notepad plus plus double click open that up here we go and we need to find that correct spot for our record so i'll go up here to search and find and then do a search for item dot record and next and it takes you right into the right location and then we want to have the record 13 and that's right up here so that's what we're looking for and we'll be placing our new name right on top of that. Now I've already copied that. I'll just paste that in. So right click and paste. And there we go, there's our new name. Now notice that there is no space after the equal sign right here. That's correct. Okay, that's all we have to do in here. And that's then going to show this when we put that record into the jukebox. And we'll save that and close that down. So that's taken care of. Next, let's do a little change here to our texture. Let's go inside of textures and items. Do a little adjustment on this one. Now you used to be able to take this to a higher resolution and do some fancy stuff, but that no longer works. So stick with our regular resolution on this. Now I'll be editing this in the paint.net program. It's a free download. You can use any program you want. It doesn't matter as long as it has transparency in it. So don't use Windows Paint. The Windows 3D Paint also works out just fine. That does work with transparency. And here we are on paint.net. Now the actual link for this is getpaint.net. I'll put that in the description. And you want to have the download page right here. Now this is free or at a very small cost. 
The free one is down here where it says .pdn. That's what you want. That's free. If you don't trust that, then go here to the Microsoft Store. Get it from the Microsoft Store. It's about six bucks in the Microsoft Store, so real cheap either way. I've used this for years down here in the free version without any problems at all. So just so go here to the .pdn and then download that paint.net. Real easy to use, very simple paint program and perfect for working here inside of Minecraft. Okay, so go back over to the working folder. So I'll open this up in paint.net. It's a real small file as you can see. So let's grab our magnifying glass here and we'll zoom in on that. And I just want just a little change in here so I can see that we've made a change on this. So I'll grab the pencil tool because we're doing individual pixels in here and I'll grab a yellow and I'll just extend this out like that and just fill these all in so it's nice and yellow on one side. We'll do the same thing on the other side for the white and do kind of a diagonal in there. That's all right. And we'll grab white in here and we'll fill this part in with white. And that way we can see that we've made a change here on the look. Now you can paint something else in here if you want to, make it fancier, it's up to you. But this is a nice basic. I think I'll put a black spot right here. Let's just go over here to black. I'll do that. And that looks pretty nice. Maybe just a gray in here and in there. Okay, this will be our new disc look. So we'll save this out and okay. Saves onto the original, that's fine. We can close this down. We're now done with this. And we can see that we're already yellow and white, so that's fine, that's taken care of. Okay, last thing to do now is the actual record. Now we need to convert this over to the .ogg file format. MP3 will not work, and you can't just rename that. That also will not work. It has to be actually converted to the .ogg format. So for that, I'll open this up in another free program. It's called Audacity, and it's a great free sound editing program. It's a good editing program anyway, but it's perfect for this. You can download Audacity right here. Again, it's free. I'll put this link in the description. And just choose for the version that you're working in. I'm in Windows, so I'll be using that one right there. Download for Windows 32 and 64 bit. Okay, back over to our working folder. And here's Audacity. Now the easy way to get something in here is just to drag and drop. So I'll just put this over here. Grab my new sound file, bring it in here. Now this comes in as a stereo track. These songs work best in Minecraft. We make this a mono track instead of stereo. So I'll fix that first. Go up here to tracks, come down to mix, and then mix stereo down to mono. And that's all set to go. Let's now save this out as the .ogg format or .og format. File, come down to export, export as OGG. Let's go inside of the sounds folder and music and game and records. Right here is where this needs to go. We can also rename it at this point and it's called 13. So let's back up over that and rename that 13. Choose save and okay. And that's all set to go. Close this down now. Not gonna bother saving that. And here we are back at our working folder. Let's now double check everything. In sounds, music, game, records. There we go, that's perfect. Let's back out of that. Check our texts. There we go, that's correct. And let's check our textures. And there it is, okay. Everything is set to go. We can now zip this up. Now you can use Windows Zip for this. It works out perfectly. I'm in Windows 11, so I'll click over here on Sounds, hold the Control key down and get Textures and Texts and the Manifest and my Pack Icon PNG file right here. And then right click on one of those and choose Compress to Zip File. And we'll give this one a name. I'll just call it 13 disk just for the zip, so I know what that is. Now, if you're working in Windows 10, do the same thing. Just go up to the top menu up there, click on the Share tab, and use the Zip button right there, or right-click and do the same thing. Okay, let's rename this. Now, if you're not seeing the .zip right here, you need to show the .zip. Inside of Windows 11, that's up here under View. Come down to Show, and it's right here, Find and Extensions. If you're in Windows 10, it's the View tab, and then put a check mark in the checkbox for Find and Extensions. Same thing. So click in here once, click one more time, and that should allow you to rename this. Then it's backspace over zip and name it MC Pack. Just like that, click outside, choose yes. And you should see this icon change to the dirt icon. If you don't see that happen, then just go inside of one of your folders, come back out again, and the window should refresh and you should see that. Now, I like installing these things when Minecraft is not running. So if it's open, just close Minecraft down and then double click on this, it's going to launch Minecraft and then import this into Minecraft. Let's go ahead, we'll do that. Double click, 
There's Minecraft, and it's loading in. And there we go, successfully imported. That's all perfect. Let's now see how that works. Go back into play, and here's my world. Let this load up. Okay, so here we are in the game, and the disk is looking the same. That's because we haven't activated this yet. So go ahead, we'll do that. I'll hit the escape key, go into settings, and then scroll down here until it says global resources. Click on that, and go into my packs right here. It should be at the top, custom record 13, that's it. Click on that and click on activate. And then double check up here, you should see it in the active section. And there we go, that's correct. It's now back out of here. And then resume game. And there we go, the disk color has changed. That's working out fine. Let's now make sure it works as we toss it into the jukebox. Right click, there's a new sound, and there's a new name. Let's bring it back out again. Go and grab that. You should see the new name. And there we go, there is a new name. So, working perfectly. And bring it back out again. So there you go, that's how you can put a custom record or custom song onto your records here inside of Minecraft. Now you can make as many as you want up to the limit of number of songs. So you can replace each one of the songs that's already in the game with a new song. Just put them all into the same folder, use the same Lang file for doing that, and put all your images into the same items folder, and you'll be all set. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any videos in the future. I'll be doing a lot more of these Bedrock videos coming up soon, and I'll see you next time.